So I did report a little while ago on the warning that not just the Swedish government, but Swedish armed forces gave that potentially you could see a war involving Sweden in the future. You also had uh, recently uh, the Prime Minister of Sweden, Ulf Christensen, uh, saying if you don't want to defend Sweden, don't be a Swedish citizen. Now, what the Swedish government had been saying uh, did draw some criticism. You saw a criticism, for example, from the former PM Magdalena Andersson. And you saw in Sweden what's been described as a panic after this warning from their government. And Sweden's commander-in-chief actually warning that Russia's war against Ukraine is just a step, not an endgame, and that all Swedes needed to prepare for war. Now, since then, it seems actually, far from Sweden being an outlier, uh, many other governments, many other uh, senior defence officials are actually making similar warnings as well. For instance, the warning here from a top official in NATO that there could be all out war with Russia within the next a few decades. It's according to Admiral Rob Bauer, saying that while armed forces are primed for the outbreak of war, private citizens need to be ready for a conflict. The big difference with a year ago, I would say, Terry, is that there's a lot of things that have happened in the armed forces and in the defence organisations. What hasn't happened is in our societies, the understanding that it is more than the military that has to be able to, uh, uh, to, to operate in a conflict or in a war. It is the whole of society that will get involved, whether we like it or not. You've seen other such warnings, for instance, the German defence minister warning that Putin could attack NATO within five to eight years. Uh, you've had the prime minister in Estonia warning that Europe has between three and five years to repair uh, for the Kremlin to return as a serious military threat on NATO's eastern flank and you've got NATO actually holding a uh, one of their biggest exercises in decades around 90,000 personnel it looks set to be involved in the 31 nations steadfast defender military exercise and when it comes to the UK uh, Grant Shapps actually committing to send 20,000 military personnel uh, to eastern Europe for this exercise and the defense secretary himself warning of further wars with Russia, China and Iran in the next five years. So those are warnings from Sweden, it seems, becoming something of a consensus. And you're seeing more and more now of these warnings. Let me know in the comments below what you make of all of that. I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more though, guys. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.